we're back at it again trying to get some big pumpkin seeds today. The wood is a little bit cloudy, which tells me one of two things. Either bluegills and pumpkin seeds are in there fanning nest and clouding the water, or we had some recent rain and it could be as a result of that. I think what it's going to do is help us because it'll help conceal us a little bit. Uh, the water was crystal clear the other day when I caught the pumpkin seeds, but this is a different day now. We're about four days, five days away, and we've had some warmer weather. So I think there's more fish here. I think we can get by without spooking quite as many fish. So let's see what happens. All right, we're going to use the same old standby. That's a nice, lively worm. And today I'm going to start off with a very small bobber. I think I can get away with it. See if we can't catch a fish on that. And uh, I don't think we'll spook the fish. I've got a, a long nine foot Shimano convergence rod today. I've got five pound braid, but I've got 10 pound mono leader tied to the braid. And I think we'll be able to catch some fish. Let's see what, let's see if there ain't something right down here maybe. First fish today is this near 10 inch bluegill. Really nice bluegill. And uh, he hit the worm actually as soon, as soon as that, he hit it as soon as it hit the water, you know, to be honest with you. Really wonderful fish. Wonderful fish, man. Wonderful fish. I love him like this. I love him like this. Yes, sir. Right. Way to fish. Nice one. Getting into some big boys now. Spawn is just about starting up. Revving up. Fresh worm, see if we can't get a fresh fish.
found out one thing they don't want a, a small piece of worm they want a whole worm seems like it they don't pay too much attention of the uh, the small worm thing so I'm gonna have to go to a pretty much a whole garden worm to get these fish to bite just picked up another nice pumpkin seed brilliant little fish and uh, like I say probably about seven seven and a half inches long not much more we're gonna try and get some bigger ones well we spent the better part of I don't know <laughs> about 30 minutes trying to catch this fish and uh, you can't see them on beds but they're there and uh, there's some really nice ones so we're having a pretty good day, but we're working for every fish. Working for every fish. There we go. Back he goes. There's a nice one. No nice fish. Got this one on a worm. Really nice one. Happy, happy to get him. Here's a little bit of an update. Uh, I want to emphasize that I am not catching high numbers of fish by any stretch of the imagination. I've caught six or eight nice fish between eight and a half and had one probably a 10 inch bluegill. And I've had a couple of uh, decent pumpkin seeds. Uh, we've lost a number of fish. Uh, the wind's getting up. I'm having a hard time putting my bait where I want. I'm fishing like I was about you know, maybe six months into the sport. I'm not doing too good today. Can't seem to put my, my baits where I want them. But anyway, we're still sticking with the worm. The live worm. And we'll see if we can't get some more fish. Well, picked up another decent fish. Not huge, but a nice bluegill. This one's probably pushing nine. Pretty fish, pretty fish. We're working for them. We're getting a couple, but not high numbers this is an unusual bluegill here look at the head <laughs> that's pretty cool all those colors there that's pretty cool nice nice fish this one's probably close to 10 so oh, come on. all right we picked up this nice male crappy late in the spawn for crappy that's for sure but a decent fish, you know, maybe 11 and a half inches, something like that. Pretty nice fish. All right, biggest pumpkin of the day, man. I am tickled with this fish. It's only about eight inch fish, but it's for pumpkin seed. It's it's pretty nice. I saw him carrying on in the shallows here. I thought I could probably get a hold of him. Ouch! Hey, he's taking care of me now. Okay, let's get going, guys. Okay. Nice. Nice looking pumpkin. Really sweet looking fish. Well, we're going to wrap it up. We didn't have a bad day. Uh, but we had to work hard about 15 20 minutes between every single fish uh, that was of decent size we caught a few dinks and we caught a couple bass we caught crappy uh, caught four nice pumpkin seeds we had some bull bluegills up to just a little bit over 10 inches uh, but like i say in a in a four or five hour session uh, we were about 15 20 minutes between each large fish so i don't have a whole lot of footage of these fish actually being caught running out of battery power anyway thanks for watching we'll talk to y'all later god bless